Okay, it's Mel again. Okay, so a whole bunch of friends and I are trying to get this whole thing together for uh, another friend of ours who does these great conferences all over the country. And uh, what we're trying to do as part of this campaign is actually get a whole bunch of our other friends to try to submit all of these video responses to wish this person a happy birthday. And so the question came up, well, you know, how do we actually get people to link back to the original video? So the idea of YouTube annotations when you upload your videos up to YouTube to get those annotations linking back to the original video. Well, the question then becomes, well, what is an annotation? How do we get these annotations up? And Mel, can you maybe create something that shows people how to create an annotation? And I thought, hey, perfect. Let's use video to do exactly that. So basically on, on YouTube, there are four types of annotations. There's a bubble type annotation. And there are also note annotations. And then also there are pause annotations and spotlight annotations. Get the picture? Okay, so now with any of these annotations, you can actually have other things happen, like other events. Like for instance, on that one you just saw, a little text comes up when you hover your mouse over the little spotlight area. Or you can actually have people, the viewers, when they click on any of your annotations, go to another place, like another video, or another channel, or a playlist, or you can even have them subscribe to your own, video, uh, your own YouTube channel. Our thing is, is we want everybody that comes to our videos to basically click through and go to the original video. So, what I'm going to do now is show you a tutorial on how to do exactly that. It's basically a link annotation that we're going to have you put inside your note annotations, all right? Okay, so the idea we want to have for this campaign is make it so that after you upload your video to your YouTube channel that if you want, you can create an annotation with a link in it that navigates your viewer to another video inside YouTube after she clicks on your annotation. So here, for example, you can see an annotation pop up in the video. So when I click on it, it brings us up to this other video in YouTube. Hi, this is Bob Watson with Social Media Mastermind Orange County, and I'd like to invite everybody to our big birthday bash for Jeff Pulver, the curator of the 140 conference. Okay, so let me navigate back to my video in which I created that annotation with a link in it and show you how I did hey, that. Hey, Jeff, it's Mel Aclaro. And this only works, by the way, for other media assets inside YouTube. You can't have users navigate to your own off-site blog, for example. Okay, so with your YouTube video already uploaded and displayed in your browser, just find this tab up here that says Edit Annotations. When you click that, you pop into an editor that lets you set it all up. Now, down here in the timeline under the video, you can see where I already have that annotation that you just saw me click on. Let me add another one on top of that, and here's how you would do it. First, simply scrub forward to any point in the video at which you would like to have the annotation appear. Then click this little ditty here to show a window where you can select the type of annotation that you want to place. In this case, I'm going to show you how to create a simple note annotation, and then we'll put a link in it. All right. So when I click the icon for the note annotation, a little box appears in a default position in the video where you can then enter the text of the note that you want to have appear. Now here, I'll type this. Okay, so that's watch Bob Watson's video about how to include your happy birthday message. Then just drag that box over to any place within the frame of the video where you want it to appear. See this little submenu here? Well, that lets you change the color, and I tend to like mine green. You can make it whatever you want. And then the power shot here is this link icon. Click that and you can see a drop down that shows you all the different types of links that you can have. Now, from a strictly video marketing perspective for your business, hopefully ideas are now start, suddenly starting to pop into your head. And we can talk about those in other videos or on my blog, but for now, I want to stay on point. I just want to show you how it is that I make that annotation link to another video. And here's the deal. First of all, you'll select video as a link type, easy enough. Then you have to enter the YouTube URL for the video to which you want to link. So obviously you'll need to know that. So luckily I saved the tab in my browser where I have my friend Bob's video handy. So I'll just head over there to the address bar and copy the URL for his video. Then I'll pop back over to my video and then paste the URL into the appropriate field. That's it. You can even then set the minute and seconds into the video where you might want to have the viewer start watching the video when they click your link. But for our purposes, and really for most of my purposes, we'll leave that at zero. So it means that viewers will start at the beginning of the video that you're trying to link them to.
All right, then just click Save here. And your annotation will now appear in the right sidebar with the list of all other annotations that you may have already placed in your video because you can have more than one annotation in the video at different time places. The left time code box here indicates the starting time inside your video at which that annotation appears. You can change it to whatever time you want. The right time code box indicates the video time at which the annotation will disappear. For my purposes, I'm going to make that last for the remainder of the video's duration, which I happen to know the end is at 2 minutes and 7 seconds. So I'm going to type that in here. And then when you're done setting that, just push the Save button at the top to save it, and then the Publish button to make it visible. That's it. Let's take a look. Hey, Jeff, it's Mel Aclaro and um, my wife, Toby Aclaro. Okay, so there's the annotation. Hi. Click we it, just to wish and there's Bob's video. And that's it. Hi, this is Bob Watson with Social Media Mastermind. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, now all there is is just you just got to get to it. Get your video up there.